not the same area we were just... Oh, 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 oh. No, it isn't. We spared you some grinding. <laughs> oh, look how happy that man. Look at those teeth. So, in talking a little bit about the animated series the last couple episodes... We're going to get a little closer so they can... Nah. Um, <laughs> no, forget them. Uh, I I've been watching the animated series. It's on Netflix. Oh, yeah? And it's like the first two or three, what we would call seasons, but they blocked them all into like one. So it's the entire Indigo League. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm only like three or four episodes in. I've just been kind of messing around with it. I will say that, I mean, it's it's as much fun as I remember it being. Like, it's introductory and everything is great. But the translations are awful and the voice sync is terrible. Now, albeit, I mean, it was the ni early 90s and like mid early mid 90s. And... Now, I mean, with the digitization of animation, like, they can really control, A, what it oh. looks like when the voices are talking. What do you think? Oh, man. I don't it's think you can one. Close. Can you one-hit KO a Pidgey? Uh, if it's critical. What? You're, you're banking on a critical hit? And him being paralyzed. I think that's... You're gone up that tree oh. a few too many times, Commissioner. Oh. He fainted. Good thing it's saying Nuzlocke. That dog won't hunt, Monsignor. I think you can take him out. I think so too, even with Gust. Uh, it's, yeah, because he's paralyzed. So, um. So it's, yeah, it's not great. And, like, when Team Rocket talks and stuff, it's. Well, he's still faster even though he's paralyzed. I think it was a quick attack. Oh, maybe. Team Rocket's, like, voices don't li match up really well. And, like, there's several big annoying things that would only really come after so much time watching it. Mm. Which are, like, the Pokemon only saying their stupid names. <laughs> what a dumb decision that was. But, I mean, it's branding. Now you know every Pokemon's name because they say it a hundred times. And, uh, Team Rocket having to do their stupid intro every single episode. I love that. You don't like that? <laughs> I love it. Do you really? I do. You, why? It's such a great intro. Yeah, but they've made, like, 600 episodes of Pokemon. <laughs> And every episode they do it. And you know what? The first time they didn't, they'd be quitters. The show would be a quitters. Quitter. They've also never been able to capture, po uh, well, not a Pokemon, but Pikachu. Mm. They did catch a Wobbuffet. Hey, why are they still after that thing? And a Victory Bell. And something else. She had something else now. I'm gonna look up what Team Rocket's Pokemon are. I I'm actually interested in knowing. Well, the Wobbuffet was funny because. It was like they need another kind of hilarious mascot. And what yeah. does it do? Actually, it saved their butts a few times, if I remember. What Pokemon... Does... Team Rocket... Have... Go! Boop, boop, boop! I do like, um, Touchy Yu's call. So mysterious. List of Pokemon temporarily owned by Team Rocket. Oh, apparently they had a Hoppip, too. Alright, let's see. Temporarily owned by James. Oh, yeah, this you like temporarily that? Temporarily owned. I want to know exactly what they had. You missed that. I did. What happened? Pidgey tried to sand attack MC Flaps. And it missed. Keen Eye can now lower his accuracy. Sup, bruh? What? What? Step up to the challenge. Step up to the streets, part two. MC Flaps is in the hills. Boom. Crit. Hit. Crit hit. Mmm. <laughs> nothing else. Crit hit and hit and... Wait. Crit hit and quit it. Quit it? All right, so James had a Magikarp that evolved into a Gyarados during the <laughs> S, uh, SSAN thing. Oh, he had a Weeping Bell that evolved into a Victory Bell. Yes. He had a Hop Ip. Briefly, apparently. He had a Pikachu. Oh, no. During the League entrance exam. So he controlled them, but never actually had these Pokemon. I remember. They did, like, this stupid thing where everybody was allowed. Uh, tempor temporarily owned by Jesse was a Shelter. It evolved... It helped a, a Slowpoke evolve into a Slowbro. So she lost it, I guess. Interesting. She also had a Magikarp. Huh. She used a Hitmon Lee and a Kingler. Oh. 
Giovanni loaned his Kingler to Jesse. Oh, okay. Giovanni loaned a bunch of Pokemon to them during that episode where Ash fights that gym because obviously it would make him fight Giovanni. Um, I don't know. There's some others here, but they're like, they were loaned to her. She didn't actually use them. Oh, Meowth. Is he a Pokemon trainer? Meowth is not a Pokemon trainer, Aww. but he is a po he is able to fight and stuff in the in the show anyway. Yeah. Hmm. I want to see what the actual Pokemon they had was though. I mean, we know they have an Arbok and a Weezing. This entire episode is going to be me asking this question. <laughs> well, everyone wants to know. Do they? I think so. I know so. The internet is not being very helpful here. Jessa, James, and Mirror. Hmm. A lot of people want to see them kiss, apparently. Thanks, internet! <laughs> I'm not really that interested. But who's the man in that relationship? Listen, Jessie is the boss. I wouldn't say she's the man, but she's she's the boss. Yeah. Rightly so. She's the dominant personality. Um. Pure image. On hand. Okay. A wa she has the Wobbuffet. The Wobbuffet is hers. She traded it for her Lickitung. Yeah, I remember. Oh, she did have a Lickitung. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, now she has a uh, Pumpkaboo, which is from X and Y. Oh, the ghost sweet. pumpkin. That's cool. Uh, at Team Rocket Headquarters, she has a Surviper and a Yanmega. As well as a Wubat and a Frillish. She has a Yanmega? Mm. That's pretty awesome. Jesse captured Yanmega as a Yanma after another trainer weakened it first, so she stole it. <laughs> Yanma evolved soon after being caught in a battle against Ash and his friends. Uh, during the Diamond and Pearl series. Jesse used Yanmega in many battles and contests. Huh. That's cool. In Unova, Jesse was revealed to have gotten it from a cave. That's the um, Wubat. And how did she get your Frillish? In Unova. Okay. She released Arbok. What? Why did she do that? This Ekans was a birthday gift and was her most beloved Pokemon. It accompanied Jesse from the beginning of the anime. Eventually, it evolves into an Arbok because Jesse wished it desperately. It is released to protect a group of Ekans in a poached ego. Oh, it must be the episode. In new Poison Sting Headbutt Rap and Dig. Uh, that makes sense. I mean, Ash released a lot of his Pokemon to help other wild Pokemon. She also released a Dustox that she had from a Wurmple. And the Shelter, because it was needed for Slowbro. Traded the Lickitung. Okay. Did it again. What'd you do? Jumped back over that ledge. At least you're running. I kept forgetting to run. <laughs> If you recall, anyway. Um. All right, let's see about James then. That was Pokemon uh, Wikia. Gave me that, which is pretty cool. Let's see what James has. This uh, this information brought to you by grinding, because we want you to be entertained while we try to level up these jerks. Ah, uh, jerks! We can't beat Misty. Let's just put that out there. She's tough. She's a toughie. <clears throat> okay, James. James has an Inke. <gasps> awesome. Your favorite little guy. That's awesome. Uh, stored, he has a Yamask. That's not going too well. Ghost. It's a weird one. He also has an Amoongus store. James caught an Amoongus off screen while going back to Unova. He has a Mime Jr. And a Carnivine. I know the Carni that he has a Carnivine, yeah. And a, he has a Cacnea in training. What does that mean? Every time much Cacnea comes after his Pokeball, it uses to hug him tight with its needles, causing James pain. Uh -huh. Many battles went once. Oh, it went to train with Gardenia. When Cacnea left, James was extremely upset as the first Pokemon he captured after Weezing left. His later. Weezing left? Man, what did we miss? He traded uh, Victory Bell for a Weeping Bell from the Magikarp salesman during one of his scams. We evolved into Victory Bell soon after. Huh. Okay, he released it. He released the Gyarados that he bought as a Magic Carp. 
Weezing. He told Weezing to run away and protect some coughing from a foe jerk. So it must have been the same thing. Yeah. Same episode as uh, the Arbok. Huh. James bought Hop It from the Magikarp salesman thinking it was a chime a chime show. It, there's a picture <laughs> of it painted. That's funny. After the disguise had <laughs> fell apart, it flew off. It ran away. <laughs> huh. And let's see about Meowth. Is he a Pokemon trainer or what? Okay. Okay. He knows how to speak, by the way. Oh, known moves. Scratch, Furious Wipes, Bite, and Night Slash. That doesn't look like he's a Pokemon trainer at all. Well, this Oddish is level 16. Murder it! That'll be worth some big experience. Meowth, Ghastly, and Slowking are currently the only Pokemon that can talk without using telepathy. Oh yeah, Slowking does in the one Pokemon movie. <laughs> Boy, we've spent a lot of time on the Pokemon series this episode. I regret every minute of it. Next time on Pow 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 Poof. Pow 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 Poof. The poof is playing with fire. We're gonna hopefully be grounded up enough to challenge. It's not gonna happen. I give it like six more episodes. Good gosh.